I, I want to start by talking about what, what a season it's been for you. Obviously, the Indy 500, the win. Uh, I mean, as, as wins go in America in motorsport, that must be right up there. Yeah, I think it's the one, right? It's the, the biggest race in the world, in my opinion. At least it's on the, you know, the Triple Crown, sort of the, one of the three biggest ones. But I think the 500 with its history and importance here in America, I think it's... Uh, it's pretty much the biggest race you can win. And to do that, is, uh, I'm still sort of pinching myself and, and trying to understand that it really happened. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I know it's been an, an amazing season. And, and to win the 500, obviously, it's, uh, it's been uh, the, the icing on the cake so far. But uh, still a championship to try and win here and then. Maybe we were part of the lucky charm that made it happen. If you're still wondering what it might be, it could possibly be us. It could be us. <laughs> We've, uh... Yeah, very much so. We spoke in May, so, you know, that was, you know, the right timing. in my mom being on this show. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, we've got a shot of the, uh, of the milk, uh, the famous milk moment uh, that, that happens when you win the Indy 500. So go on, Marcus, tell us, what milk was it? And is, I mean, you look, you look in a pretty content, happy place there. <laughs> yeah, it was full milk and uh, or whole milk, maybe you call it whole milk. It was very cold, luckily, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite cool, you know, with that tradition because it's something you've seen the winners do for so long, and and to do, be there and and sort of do the whole tradition and drink that milk and pour it over you and all that. It's it's, it's obviously a bit weird, but it's uh, yeah, it was very cool and a, a moment I always will remember. Well, you look like you certainly enjoyed that, that milk bath. Um, so you're second in the IndyCar Championship at the moment. Yesterday wasn't the easiest day in the office. You started at the back of the grid, but you made your way back uh, up to 11th place. Uh, was it a case of damage limitation for you yesterday? Yeah, it was. I think, you know, we had that issue with the engine in qualifying on the outlap of qualifying. So I had to start from the back in 25th and... Um, I, I was aiming at a top 10, and I think we were well on our way to a top 10. We had a really good strategy, did a long first stint on the on the primary compound, and then we had sticker reds uh, for, for the rest of the race. So we were looking really strong, and I think we would have been able to be top 8 or even top 6 in, in the race unless that yellow came at a very bad time for us in the middle of the race. And that sort of neutralized the whole race. And from then on, it was, was trying to pick off as many positions as possible. But still, you know... 14 positions gain in a race on Indy Road course, which is not the easiest track to overtake. So I think that's a, it's a good job uh, or good day at the, at the job or at the work for me. And uh, we're still very much in the championship mix. Certainly, certainly. Well, there's only four races left to go. Uh, it's going to come down to the wire, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, this year in IndyCar is crazy how tight it is and it's still I would say six uh, drivers very much in the mix with four races to go. Um, obviously, I've been leading now for the last five and, and just lost the lead to Will this past weekend, but it's only nine points difference to, to him. So um, I'm looking at trying to get that lead back uh, this coming weekend in Nashville. But yeah, it's, it's going to be t tough, you know, these last four races. It's, uh, it's going to be very close and I'm sure it's going to go down all the way to the final in Laguna Seca in September.